Hello everyone, Lorenzo here. Today I'm going to be racing the Super Formula Lights for the first time ever on iRacing. The Super Formula Lights or SF Lights is one of iRacing's latest cars. It was released in 2024 season two and it's supposed to be the feeder series to the Super Formula series. But many people are also considering this car to be pretty much the new Formula 3 car on iRacing. Now, I'm actually not a huge fan of highly powered formula cars, so how did we end here? Well, I was streaming the other day and viewers in chat asked me to try this car. They said I wouldn't regret it. I decided to give it a go. Now, here's the best part. Usually when I buy a new car, it takes me a little while before I decide to race it because I need to get used to it. Especially these types of cars, which I haven't driven in a while. However, as I entered my first practice session on that same stream with this car, it felt so intuitive that literally within an hour, I felt ready to race it. In fact, as you can see from my Ferrari livery, I haven't even had the time to put my own livery on this car, so we're running Ferrari today. Hopefully it brings us some luck. And so ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to see is my first ever spontaneous race in the Super Formula Lights. This race was an absolute blast and I think you'll be surprised about the result. I started in P19 out of 25 cars in a 2.1k turn of field race. And without further ado, let's get on track. Also, I will tell you my thoughts and my review of this car during the race as well, so make sure you stick around. All right, let's get into it. Green, green, green. And off we go. I actually had a pretty good launch off the line. Let's tuck in behind this Red Bull car. Oh, there's a slow guy. He's napping. Left side. Keep to the right. Whew. Keep to the right. Okay, someone already slammed into me. You've got wheel damage. Stay on the right. Clear. Wheel damage, but the car seems drivable. Let's keep going. There's an incident ahead. Slow car ahead. Okay, massive incident ahead. Let's try and take these uh, positions. Car right. Still there. Clear. Car on your left. Stay on the right. Clear. Let's try and use the draft. We heard it was strong. My steering wheel is a little bit sideways, unfortunately, but it could be a lot worse. Car right. Oh my Clear. god, what a dive Clear bomb! On the left. Too wide. Clear. Unfortunately, I saw it coming. Managed to stay alive there. Unbelievable. What a moment. And all right, everyone, let's take a look back at lap one. I got off the line well and gained one position on the starting straight. Big scare at turn one with this contact. Fortunately, the car was still drivable and it was also a bit of net code, so we just got unlucky. We then saw a bunch of carnage at turn five. So if you're racing here this week, be careful going side by side here on lap one. I then engaged in a beautiful battle with Schmidt. And just as we were approaching the second chicane, a massive dive bomb from car number five takes him out and I managed to overtake him. With Schmidt at number five behind me, I've now gained five positions in my first lap and I'm in P14. Let's see what happened next. I have double draft now. Let's try to pull away from the guys behind. Oh, he's going wide, he might bend it. And he did. Let's keep going, guys. Let's try and stay with Holman. And now, as we chase Holman ahead, let's switch to the T-Cam and let me give you my first impressions of the Super Formula Lights. It's very powerful, it has a lot of downforce and might seem intimidating, but actually, it's surprisingly easy to drive. It's actually quite beginner friendly. It feels very stable under braking and on the throttle, 
it does not snap easily and you can even take curbs with it quite aggressively and overall a much more enjoyable experience in my opinion compared to the Dallara F3. This car has so much grip, it's so stable and the brakes, the brakes are so good. In fact, the biggest challenge I had in practice was overslowing the car. What helped me is not trailing the brakes too much into a corner in this car because it will genuinely just stop. It, it will slow down way too much. So what I did is the initial first heavy brake application, then dropping the brakes a lot, pointing the car towards the exit and accelerating as early as possible. A completely different driving style than what I'm used to, but due to how surprisingly beginner friendly this car is, I could actually execute this all right and get along with it even so early after purchasing the car. Another thing I liked about this car is that you can actually dump the throttle coming out of corners without immediately losing the rear because it's powerful, but it's not that powerful. And I actually really like that. Plus this car looks good, it sounds good. So what's not to like guys? I highly, highly recommend it. And with that, let's get back to the race. The group ahead looks quite combative. Sandu and Junior ahead are side by side. Holman is getting close to them. Cornes is right ahead. Very close group ahead. P8 to P12. Let's see if there's drama between them. Oh, there's someone spun ahead. And he's rejoining right in front of me. Fortunately, we got around. Oh, and he collected the guy behind me. Okay, that's good. Three and a half second gap behind me. You're pulling away from the car behind. The gap is three point seven seconds. Got lucky there. Let's keep going. Another one dead ahead. Actually, I don't think any of them fell off. It's still Cornus, Junior, Sandu, and Holman. Back to back. And it looks like someone's having problems. It's Sandu. He peeled off there. I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure why he peeled off there, guys. The car in T1 just set the fastest lap. 12. But it's another freebie 8, that we'll 3, take. 4. You're in the top 10. We're in the top 10, guys. This is amazing. We're nine positions higher than where we started just based on consistency, not even pace. As you can see, quite a few other drivers are making mistakes, but what happened to Sandu, who peeled off on the straight, will remain a mystery. As you can see, he just slowed down, parked on the grass, and then started again. I'm not sure what happened. Sandu, if you watch this, let us know what you were struggling with. Anyway, let's get back to the race. I just can't get close enough to these guys ahead, unfortunately. They're all drafting each other away from me. I hope that one of them makes a mistake so that I can get a little bit closer. There's an incident ahead. We lost one of the drivers ahead. That was the guy in P7. Let's keep pushing. Another yellow flag. And eventually my hopes came true. Two drivers in the top 10 made mistakes and took themselves out of the race. So just by being consistent, we gained another two positions and we're now in P8. But Schmidt is chasing me down relentlessly. So am I going to be able to hold this position? Let's watch the end of the race. White flag, stay smooth. White flag, guys. Let's stay smooth. No big risks. Let's try and secure this position. There is a back marker now getting into the mix. Time to chill and look forward. Chill and look forward. Schmidt is giving everything behind to try and catch me. He might be in my draft range now. Only 0 0.6. It's the last time that the straight will come. The guys ahead are weaving, fighting their own battle as well. But I don't think that Schmidt is close enough to actually uh, overtake me with draft. So I think we're good. 
Let's execute this as well. I didn't have the best exit. Schmidt is getting close. Let's go to the finish line. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh my goodness. What a race, guys. Nice run. Solid work. Oh my god. What a race, guys. Two hours after buying the car. Practice session with the guys. Learned a lot fast. P8 in the first race, guys. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. This is how we do it. Whew. That was so intense. And with that, we come to the end of the video. What a beautiful car this is. What an enjoyable race. I very much look forward to racing it more. And as always, if you enjoyed, please consider liking, consider subscribing. If you want to watch me stream, join my Discord or hit the bell notification button so that you know every time that I go live. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.